So in this video, we'll pick up where we left with creating a small enclosure based on side sections or side profiles with Chef of Front Panel Designer. And uh, just to quickly uh, show you, this is the box we created in the previous video. I just took it apart a little bit. But basically, a box with the traditional housing concept with Schaeffer is based on a number of panels which are held together by uh, profiles like, uh, like these. And um, like that. And then you have a screw kit that keeps it all together. And the way we uh, do, um, or we determine how these uh, panels should be uh, formed, the dimensions, where the holes goes, etc., comes from um, the Schaeffer housing manual which is uh, something you can download from their website. But the much easier way to go is, of course, to use the scripts that we are demonstrating in these videos. And uh, in the previous video, you saw how we created uh, these scripts. And now we'll see how can we create a rack unit uh, using this script. So if we go to um, start the, the script menu again, run the Schaeffer housings uh, script using still housings with side profiles and click OK. We'll now take a look at some of the settings that can create a radically different type of enclosure than this one, namely a rack unit. And uh, the main point is that we click the checkbox, make it a rack unit. And what that means is really that it's uh, overriding the width of the box. So the width that is currently uh, was it, what was it, 100 millimeters will now be fixed uh, by the application to fit into a 19 inch rack and also we'll select side section number one because rack units they are something like 44.5 millimeters high at most so if I select that type of side section um, I should get a proper one unit rack enclosure. In this case I would also like to make it a different color so I'm now going to select uh, black as the color of my panels and uh, to go with that, I should also select a black uh, screw kit uh, and uh, profile uh, kit. So these housing profiles, which are currently silver uh, or natural aluminum, should be black instead if I want to carry through the black color all the way. Okay, uh, but at first, I think I'll just deselect that and then I'll make a test run and um, press create. So what we see when I do this test run is that you can see front panel designer has created a panel. It has um, rack mounting holes on the sides and um, it looks fine to me. This is how I want it. Uh, so I go back to the scripting application. I run it again like that. Uh, maybe I want to see guide engravings. Do you remember from the previous videos that you could have engravings that clearly show how on the behind the panel, the the profiles uh, extent uh, and that's very useful if you want to um, to place any type of uh, cutout or a printed circuit board there etc. So I'll add guide engravings again and then I'll also add something called housing profiles. Uh, housing profiles will help to keep the, the whole thing uh, nicely together uh, so when I press create here You'll see that I now get a new panel and if we take a closer look at this panel, uh, let me just zoom in here at the end. First of all, now you can easily see how important it is to see where the side profile is located uh, on the panel because when I want to place anything, components or plugs or whatever, I really need to know if I'm um, if I'm colliding with the, the uh, side profile behind. It's also nice that I can see how my um, top and bottom panels are positioned. And this is all what the guide engravings give you. Um, then one new thing is that we have placed a housing bracket. And a housing bracket, let me just uh, find a housing bracket. Okay, so we have a housing bracket right here. And um, so a housing bracket is this small thingy. It has a three millimeter hole on that side and that side. And now you can probably imagine that a housing bracket sitting here is supposed to hold the front panel side together with the top panel. And that becomes increasingly important when you get a long unit like this one that you have multiple points to, to fix it together. 
So that's the point of, of, of that part of it. Okay, so um, let's go back to the script and then let's just say that we are now ready to order this. We'll select a black kit. We want the housing brackets. We disable the guide engravings and we uh, disable a test run. So now we will create all the panels necessary. And there we go. The ordering application is booting up. As you can see, we have side profiles ordered in black anodized. We have an assembly kit and we have a package of eight housing profiles coming along with this. So let's see how it looks 14 days after you place this order. So 14 days later, you get this, a laminated cardboard with all your aluminum panels on. And then you get also a kit of housing profiles as you ordered. And of course, a uh, screw kit, which is necessary to keep all of this together. So let's just fast forward through the assembly and see how the final box looks. Cool, so here it is, my uh, rack unit, like that. But as I said, if you look here at the close-up, these sides, I don't know if, how easy it is to see, but you can see they are sort of flexible because I didn't mount the housing brackets yet. And they are right here. So let's take a look at how they should actually be fitted into this enclosure. So you can see, the housing brackets are supposed to sit between a hole like this and then the back side here. So this is what I'm going to do now. All right, so now I have housing profiles on the back side, as you can see, and it really helps a lot. So now everything is better kept together like this, but I still miss them on the front. And the reason why I didn't put them there yet is because we're using a um, special concept. If I just take this, take this out, you can see the, uh, the top and the bottom are now affixed to the back side like that. So, okay, what I need you to notice is that here we have a stud placed. That's a glued bolt in the aluminum. You can see how it's, it's uh, flush with the surface of the aluminum uh, and it's glued into a small cavity with, which is uh, made by Schaeffer. And what I want is to place a housing bracket over this bolt and it's kind of a bad idea, although the, the thread is actually fitting to just take a housing profile and do like that, because I want the housing profile to, um, to um, face the top and the bottom sides. So what I need to do is to take a three millimeter drill and extend the hole in the housing profile and then use a nut from top instead. And that's what I'm, I'm doing now. There is one thing to note when you use housing profiles in this way, and that is be careful not to tighten this nut too heavily. I have experienced that if you do that, and if the bolt is mounted maybe a little bit lower in, in the aluminum panel than you uh, really ideally preferred, then it will pull out the bolt from the aluminum. It's actually possible that, or it's practically possible that this happens. But uh, be against warned, uh, again warned that this, idea of using housing brackets on this in this way mounted on studs is not something Schaeffer is uh, necessarily um, endorsing. It's, it's an idea that I got myself. So why would I uh, get that idea anyway? Well, the reason is when you have a panel like this, you won't like to spoil the front face of the box 
with a lot of screws. It's sort of enough that you already have two uh, screws in each side. Why would you like to have another uh, two screws uh, two other places on the panel? So this is why for the front of such panels you will find that my scripts will be using or placing bolts instead uh, by this principle. But the point is that now that I have profiles, housing profiles there and uh, on the other side And voila, there you got a nice 80 millimeter deep one unit rack enclosure based on Schaeffer side profiles. Black side profiles, black screw kit on the front, using housing brackets mounted on studs on the front to, to disclose the uh, or to hide the screw holes. On the back, we see screw holes. And all that is left to do now is to place cutouts for your buttons, printed circuit boards, or whatever you want here on the front. And um, on the back as well, of course. There may be one final thing I would like to just highlight because, of course, the housing brackets are placed in positions that um, are calculated like based on the width of the panel and automatically placed. They may collide with your ideal position of something. So that means you may have to move it but that's also really easy so if we go back to front panel designer and see how you can do this um, you now do a manual um, adjustment so let's let's say that we look at uh, the front panel here and you wanted to move uh, the housing profiles a bit to the side what you can do is you hold the shift key down on your laptop and then you press the arrow keys uh, a number of times to the side that you want you need to count it so let's say I, I think it moves then like five millimeters each time so if I want to move it 25 millimeters to the uh, to the left one two three four five times holding down the shift key so what I need to do now is to find the the right uh, hole on the top and the bottom panel to make it match so if I take the top panel, I can decide because there is no orientation on this one. Uh, but some, yeah. So I take this hole one, two, three, four, five on the um, on the bottom panel. Um, uh, it's now the the top because the bottom panel will be under like that one, two, three, four, five. So now I have corrected or moved the hole for the housing bracket uh, twenty five millimeters to the left on the bottom panel, the front top panel, and on the front uh, to accommodate whatever I need to accommodate, like um, the position, I, my ideal position of uh, elements on that side. All right, that's it. So that was um, housings, Schaeffer housings based on uh, side profiles. The uh, highest profile, uh, 56 millimeter, the lower profile fitting for a rack unit, 42 millimeters. And next up will be videos about making enclosures with housing profiles, which gives you an unlimited arbitrary height of your boxes.